everybody. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just wait. See who wants to join in with us. Um, I hope you're all having a good week. I know it's only Tuesday, but you know, being positive and all that. Okay, I'm just putting my phony phone on silent and <clears throat> tuning in. Hello, Jane. You're right, my love. Who else do we have? Say hello. <clears throat> Like I say, we're all having a good week. You know. It's Tuesday, close to hump day, tomorrow. Hump day is Wednesday for those who have got naughty minds. Okay. Righty-ho. Right, I'm just going on my phone so I can see your comments once I sit down. <clears throat> Great. So, tonight, guys, what I am wanting to show you is the... Be crafty mirror blocks. <clears throat> now these are um, a product that somebody actually asked us for. Um, a lady called Jen um, came to me at Stamp Magic Doncaster and asked me to make these. Um, so if you love them, great praise to Jen. If you don't like them, give, tell me I can take it. Um, but yeah, so these were actually a specific request um, from a lady called Jen. So what I've done is these are mirror blocks. So if you haven't seen mirror blocks before, these are them. Now they are... They're in this one, there are four different mirror block stamps, okay, um, in different sizes. Um, this is the sizes we've started out with. It's not to say we won't bring out more sizes if you need um, bigger ones, but these are the ones we've started out with just for this set for now. These are live on the website. Um, they were added on recently. Um, and they are in the backgrounds, textures and borders section, which is a new section. And you'll see new backgrounds, um, nice coloured in backgrounds. It is now going to be the back end for all of the background and textures, all the new ones anyway. Um, right, okie doke. So, what I want to show you is, so with your mirror blocks, I have to say, it is best to keep them on here. It keeps them clean, and that is something you want to do with your mirror blocks. All right, so if you have a stamp that you want to effectively face itself, so you want to stamp it and then stamp it so it's facing the other way, um, this is what a mirror block helps you do. Now these are my various attempts. This is something I'm just learning, okay guys? So don't think, you know, oh god that's great, or you probably don't to be fair. <laughs> but my point is, if you're thinking, oh I could do better, you probably can. Truth be told, truth be told. Um, because it is something I'm still playing with, I'm still practicing. Um, whoever's doing Be Crafty, I don't know if it's Sam or Mother, but that says um, for the background texture borders that link just saying right so the this is me just been playing with the texture blocks um and i've used the little unis the unicorn i've used the little dragon's eye um the little bird here i have got another one see that was me playing with um distress oxides oh there it is hang on bear with And this is the swallow. Okay, so you do. So there is lots of different, you know, stamps that you can put on them, and that's why we put the different sizes on, um, so that you can use them with other stamps you might have, you know, as well. It's not just big crafty ones, um, but they're, they're just so that you can do the same stamp facing a different way, which is really really fun. Right. So what we'll do is I'm going to show you, there's, there's different ways to use them. Um, I will say the, there are some really key points, okay? First of all, you need to be using a really wet ink pad and something that doesn't stain your stamps, okay? Um, and the reasons for that will become clear in a minute. So a really, really wet ink pad that doesn't stain your stamps, okay? Second, what you've got to remember is this is almost a second stamp, so it is going to be lighter than the one, for example, you can see this is lighter 
than you would the one you stamp straight on. Okay, this is and that's just a fact of life, in a way. So you know the, there is that too. Um, also, you want to try and keep them as clean as possible, but that's just to make your life easier. All right, so let's get playing. I've just got some small pieces of card. I don't think we'll be finishing anything tonight. It is literally just having a play. And like I say, please bear in mind, I am still playing with this. I am still learning to use it, and I do get mixed results. But it is one of those things. The more you practice with it, the better. And it is still a million times easier than all the different ways I've tried to mirror stamp, either using acetate or... Um, just on a piece of acrylic or whatever and it's just like a million times better than that I have to say right so let me just move these out to the side if you want to see anything off there again just let me try but you can see on here you know there's mixed results it's you know it's not all marvelous different ones different okay but here you go now something that it has taught me t today while I've been playing um, is I actually need a new versifying black because <laughs> the secondary stamps aren't exceedingly clear um but what i will say is i think versa claire would be really 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 good um because it's a really sort of wet um pigmenty ink but um our stock of those hasn't come in yet um so i can't send you over to there again but i know a lot of you may have versa claire and i do think versa claire would work with this really well but what i am going to use is i'm going to use my versify smoky gray and i'm going to tell you what although it's paler it's a lot wetter than my black one so i'm getting a much better image i mean i'll show you both if you want i mean it's absolutely fine so if you are you there's a different way of doing this if you've got a stamp platform um and i have got um a little stamp platform here so i will show you that in a minute but if you're just using slims or acrylic blocks okay this is how we do it as they say knowing that it's all about to go completely wrong because i'm doing a facebook live okay so i'm going to take my versafine and i'm going to ink up my stamp i've got the little birdie off the small birds and butterflies set Okay, the little bird on the branch. So I'm going to ink him up loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Okay. And then we go onto the mirror block. And then onto the card. Okay. Which gives you our birdie. Okay. And then. And then. I'm really sorry. Why have I started doing that? You can ink up. And match up your bird and you can see that's darker because that's been re-inked to do it so what i do like to do sometimes there we go is that showing you <laughs> no there we go okay so you can see that one on the right is lighter because that's the one i use with the mirror block sorry guys i have sort of sk skipped ahead a little bit the mirror block i'm using for this stamp is this one you could use the circle as well. I've used the circle as well um, for this size, so it's really good. But, sorry, yeah, going back. So what you can also do is I'm going to go back in with my smoky grey. Like I said, I'm using my smoky grey because it is in the best nick of all my versifines. Okay, so I'm going to do that a second time. Now, if it's really important to you that they both match perfectly in terms of tone, don't re-ink your stamp. Go back in, and then they match in their tone as well, which is really, really cool. Okay, so that means you can do lots of your favourite stamps facing the opposite way, which is great. It, it just opens up a lot of what you're doing. I will say this as well. So like I said, I do think Versa Claire is going to be really, really good. I've got the Versa Fine. This is the smoky grey I've been using. I will show you the black. Um, but like I say, my um, playing with these has taught me <laughs> that my Versa Fine black is starting to need to be replaced okay so i'm just going to wipe that off now the reason is obviously all the ink that um sits on the top okay so you want it quite clean because you don't want it going onto your card okay 
So I'm just going to ink up with my Versafine. So you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing so that they match in tone. Okay? So it's a really, really fun thing. I'm absolutely loving it. And I will say, there's a few of you guys on tonight, but nobody's saying anything. Is that because you're entranced? Or is it because you don't know what to say? I don't know. Okay. So these... So like I say, this is the small bird on branch from the small birds and butterflies set. Um, and it's absolutely awesome. So I did these. But, so like I said, I'm using my, I've so, I'm really sort of getting a bit flustered, I'm sorry. Um, but okay, so here we go. So this is why you don't want to use a staining ink pad, i.e. a stays on or something that's a, a, a quite a harsh dye. Because if you look at that, so that's the ver what the Versafine Black left on there. Okay, so if you use a dye something that's quite heavy like a stays on etc that will be stuck on there and then you can't get it off and one of the joys of these is you can see through them so for example if you wanted to stamp your solid one first and then match this up you want to be able to see where you're going okay so you want to make sure that you're always <laughs> hey you steve okay so you always want to make sure that you're using an ink that you can clean off okay so but i have also been playing with oxides now i haven't been using distress ink because obviously that's a dye um and i'm worried about them tinting the stamp the the mirror blocks but i have been using the oxides because they're the pigment dye mix and this is and they're really good i'm actually exceedingly pleased with them um you can see oh no i won't show you one i've already done i'll show you a new one so we'll use, we'll use Wilted Violet, a purple birdie. Okay, so I'm worried I'm actually not showing you what I'm doing. Oh, is that far enough up it is? Okay, that's fine. Oh, shall we change from the birdie? Shall we use Eunice the Unicorn? So this is Eunice off the um, Sam's Find the Magic set, which has got a small unicorn, a small dragon's eye, um, the scales in two sentiments that's a really really cool set and obviously we've got the bigger dragon's eye and the bigger units and so on and so forth um but this is the sorry i just wanted to quickly show you this is where the small bird and there's a smaller version of that swallow that i was showing you as well so they're really cool and as you can predict it i've lost one of the butterflies it'll turn up somewhere i lost a seahorse earlier <laughs> right eunice the unicorn we are going to use Eunice the Unicorn. I'm going to stick with this block. Unless, shall I, do you want me to use another one? Oh, sorry. That made me a bit seasick. Sorry about that. Alright, shall I use another one? I could use the circle. Couldn't I? I'll use the circle instead. Alright, so I'm just going to put this back on here. Keep it clean. I am going to show you how to use the big one. I'm going to use that one on my stamp platform. Okay. Um, so the circle one. Again, you use in exactly the same way. It's just a different shape. So, and I know lots of people like to use a circle if they're you if they're doing, for example, small butterflies, or so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to use the Eunice, the unicorn, with my wilted violet again. Put loads of lovely ink on there, blooming lovely, right? And then we're going to put Eunice onto our mirror stamp and then onto our card pushing it on to make sure all that ink transfers and then stamp the other units on there ha <sighs> I mean come on that's pretty good I'm really excited by the whole thing you know in case that isn't obvious um <clears throat> so in all honesty that's really the main thing you can do with them. It is not the only thing you can do with them. But it is the main thing you can do with them. And I think, you know, you'll be able to see... They're just so... 
fun because they're going to open up a lot of the stamps you've already got be they be crafty stamps be the other ones you know that you can play with and try and have a go at something different which you know is what, what we always want to do isn't it you know so the mirror blocks are great and we have like i say we have put these four sizes in for you but as well i have been thinking about this so i put this little oval one in and in all honesty i did it just for little bits you know in case you don't want to use the circle or if you've got something tall like for example say you've got the swirl okay so this is a swirl off the small doodle art b and you want to do you want to extend it but you don't want it to repeat you want it to flip over you know i think that is a really good shape for that one you can sit your stamp on top and see how you think it's going to fit all right so then if you wanted to repeat that little border because i think sometimes it's easy to see oh yeah you know i'd like to see that bird face this face each other or a unicorn face each other or do two eyes or so on and so forth i tried it on acetate karen indeed all right so this is the little border from the doodle art b okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp onto my mirror block and then stamp onto here well see that one has come out really pale i don't th like i said i think my black verse fine is not feeling very well at all um so what we'll do is we will try it in a different color so let me just wipe this off okay it's the, it's the four sizes they're so handy right so i've just tried it with versicla oh god right so we're gonna have the green with a little clover turn that over because we don't want that smudge okay You've got the green, but then you can go in with your border as it is, your little like accent piece, and then so it sort of repeated it. Whereas if you just uh, sort of inverted it to create that mirror, whereas if you just went along the same way, it's not quite the same effect. It gives a sort of you know. So it's just another way. It's another way of using your stamps. Which is, you know, all we're genuinely after most of the time, isn't it? <clears throat> I think we have all tried acetate and in an all honesty, a stamp that Bevel actually clean clean. I know, it's astonishing. Um, we've all tried acetate um, and I think it was, I actually think it was when we did the small Eunice and the dragon's eye. I'm sure Karen yeah dt karen had actually done something with the little eyes and she'd done both and i was like well how did you do that and she said oh on acetate and i tried it and it was like that ain't working it's just not working like not ever so when jen came to me at doncaster and told me about mirror stamps and what she wanted um i was like right okay this sounds like a really good idea but i wanted to make sure i got them right um because this was in june um and I have to say, life got in the way a little bit. Um, but then we sorted them out and got them live. And here they are, which is absolutely fab. Now, I promised I would show you um, how to use on a stamping platform. Okay. So this is actually, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a stamping platform I found at a boot sale because i wasn't sure it would be something i'd want and there's so many different ones out there um i just wanted to try one um and now i have um so it's just different so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i did the big um swallow okay because i use the stamping platform for that so i'm actually going to take this so this is the biggest um mirror block in the set okay 
and you can see the swallow fits on there lovely and that's a great way to check so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to take the mat out the bottom put that over there and I'm going to put my mirror block right in the bottom corner okay and I'm going to sit my stamp on it over to that side now I'm thinking is this the way I did it is this the way I did it I really hope it is okay right tell you what I'm just going to move some stuff out my way because I'm already in a total pickle right so what I did I'm going to move that no, this is as good as it's going to get better. Let it go. Right, I'm going to get me a bit of card ready. Oh, and what I'm going to do was I supposed to do that first? Yeah, I was. It's fine. Right. So, what I'm going to do, can you still see that? So I'm going to ink. Now, you'll see I am using my Versafine Black. And the reason is because I'm using a stamp platform, I can put loads of ink on the mirror block because I can just keep inking it up and putting loads of ink on. Okay. I have no idea if it was the other way around, Mother. It doesn't matter. Illustration purposes. I'm going to put my piece of card in there. Okay. And then we have the swallow. But what you're going to do is you're not going to move the stamp. Okay. You're going to take your mirror block off. Put your pad back in. These magnets, when they snip you, they really get you, didn't they? Okay, we're going to put this bit of card. And we're going to put right into the corner. Where the mirror block was. I'm going to ink up that again. And then you've got the two of them looking at each other. Let's face it, that is just, it's just a bit cool, you know, it's just cool, you know, I'm, I love it when something works, <laughs> you're crafters, you know, when something works, where's my bits of tape, oh, no, like I said, Dawn, I've only just got it. I don't really know how to use a stamping platform. This isn't a completely new experience for me. Um, but I have to be honest, in terms of using the big one, I do like using the platform. Or if you've got a lackluster ink pad, the, um, the platform's quite good. But yeah, I think if you've got a nice <clears throat> juicy ink pad, you can use anything. You can use, your block, you can use any of your acrylic blocks. Um, but because I know my Versafine... I think is running it's fine for face on because it's not having to go uh, it's not having to do a second generation stamp but you know in terms of that yeah it definitely needs replacing you know it just it just do it just do so that is mirror stamping with the new mirror blocks okay guys so if you have just tuned in because I do know the Bake Off song, you know. And that's cake. Because bread week's been and gone. So, um, so thank you very much for joining me for a start. Um, but this is, if you have just tuned in, these are the the mirror blocks, the Bee Crafty Stamps mirror blocks. Um, you get four in the set. I would love to give you the measurements, but I can't lie, I actually didn't consider it any thought i just got as many as i could on an a5 piece <clears throat> i wanted some different shapes and sizes and that's what i did 
And that is the extent of the thought process, girls and boys. Okay, so it is best to keep them on your thing. Nice and clean. Yes, I know. Best cleaning of stamps. Hell hath not frozen over, ladies and gents. It's just, you know, a necessity at this point. Okay. So those are your mirror blocks. So you've got the big one here. Now this one will fit on the swat. Do you know the way that I don't I don't even know where a ruler is. Oh honestly, the the pit of death that is my craft room has just shall we say managed to achieve things i didn't even know was possible in terms of mess um so you've got this bigger one here but, but like i say this is an a5 sheet so you're looking at about c6 ish that is not an exact measurement okay and then you've got this smaller rectangle one here and then the circle and then the oval so you've got those for doing your mirror stamping so you have your acetate carrier sheet to hold it on to and then you've got your backing card is laminated Okay, so you can do one of two things. You can either stick them on to your printed carrier sheet and then onto your card, or you can stick them on your, your laminated backing sheets. <clears throat> all of our laminate all of our backing sheets are laminated. Um and it is for storage. It is for storage because honestly my stamps and that are blooming everywhere. Um but at least I know nine times out of ten if I've got the carrier sheet, if I've got the backing card, the stamps should be reasonably nearby reasonably she says okay so yeah so it just enables you to play with your crafting play with the stamps you have and come up with new ways of playing with them okay so we've also got you know so we've got the um where did we put the units we did earlier i did do it didn't i thought i'd done her on the back of there Cascade. No idea. Shall do her again? Where she is. So we've got, you know, the unicorns. You know, if you're using your borders, you can just link them together differently. So it's not just about images that you can you can turn the other way. It is about these sort of things too. But what you can also do with your mirror blocks, they are designed for mirror stamping. That is why we've put them together as we have but what you can also do if the mood takes you obviously is see this is one of the original sizes of the five mil acrylic sl sl uh, slims and i absolutely love them they're not super skinny they're not flexible they're quite tough but it's just a good size to hold um is you can also effectively mix colors on them okay so you can get your oxides i would still only use inks you can clean off okay and do yourself some funky sort of meldy backgrounds and then add things in or you could just do one color at a time you know so you could do just use them is you know just stamps you know you can press in the middle and do it properly if you like but you get the gist actually it's super skinny so you can really get in the middle might be a good idea with this but you get the drift you see where i'm going okay so there's so much you can do. There's so much you can do. <clears throat> so please have a go. Mirror stamping blocks. So. And I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm about to do that TV thing that we all hate. But I'm really sorry. I'm going to do it anyway. And you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well she knows we hate it. Why is she going to do it? Because I'm trying to be honest with you. And that's what I hope you know you can always rely on me for we do not have a massive stock of these we really don't um so if it is something you like it is something you look at they've been really really busy um since we added them onto the website and in all honesty we didn't even put on anywhere that we'd put them on the website because i knew i wanted to use them today um 
But that doesn't seem to have mattered. Um, so, <laughs> so they've gone quite quickly. Um, I'm just trying to find another stamp that I can show you doing the reversing on. See, butterflies, you don't really need to, do you? So what did I do with that Find the Magic of Sam's that I literally just had in my hand because I was showing you it? I don't know. I don't know. It's really disappeared. Liability. Here we go. So we've got the dragon's eye. So this is a small one. I mean, I know it. I don't know if you've seen, but this is the small dragon's eye. You can actually get a big one um, in the regular size. Sam is still petitioning for an A5 size of the dragon's eye because she thinks that that is something you guys want. So you have to decide if you are Team Sam, because she very, very much wants that. How about doing a reflection with it, Bev? Yes, a reflection. See, Marianne, you are a little diamond. Okay, so... Here we go. Sorry, there's people sending me messages as well. Um, <clears throat> I've totally lost. Mirror! Mirror, yes. A mirror, right. I'm not going to do that then. I'm going to change, change my idea. And use... I suppose we could use a little birdie again, couldn't we? We could use a little bird. Right. He's just, he's just kind of my go-to now, the little bird. He's just so fun. So again, we'll use the circle again because it's fun and why not? Can you believe I actually cut pieces of card? I know. It's like it's like I'm not even me. Right. So like Marianne's just said, as well as doing a mirror image that way, you can also do a mirror image that way. Okay? And then that doing that. You can also keep your stronger top image because if it's a reflection and you're going to do it like as a water based thing, it would be slightly mellower anyway, wouldn't it? So that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm still going to use my Versifying Grey, I think. So a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to... Onto my round mirror block and into the middle of my card. Okay, so this... Oh, I've got something on me mirror block. See, that's why you have to keep them clean. But it's okay. So this is the mirror image. So we're going to turn it round that way. All right. And then when we stamp up... Okay... Bring that back up. Sorry, I really think Lucy's about to bark because there's a dog barking out the back. Okay. You've got that mirror image there. So if you were building a scene and you were having... like a water that would be is that showing up blue enough I'll put a little bit more on that could be your water then what would be really good to use there, but as usual, no idea where mine are, is your horizons. You could use some of your wavy edged horizons to create the edge of the water. Seriously, don't know where they are. Oh, something else just fell down. <laughs> okay, so this that's the thing. It's not just mirror that way. 
It can be mirror as in a downward reflection for water or ice. There you go, Marianne. Now we ice your ground. Marvellous. Okay. So that is another way. Another way. So, and I think as you see more and more, you will... I've totally lost my thread. Uh, yeah, as you, as you see more and more, you'll come up with and you use them, you'll come up with more ideas for them and, and so on and so forth. Another cool thing you could do is, do you remember, not so long ago, um, we were doing kiss stamping and I showed you the kiss stamping. You could also do kiss stamping with these, okay? So what that is, is you could take your distress oxide okay and ink all over your mirror block okay and then you could take for example sammy the unicorn no he's not he's a seahorse uh, uh, uh. okay so you could take sammy the seahorse and put his head on there don't ink it up and take it off okay so you see where I'm going with this so what is wrong with me can't stamp so you get a sort of oh, can't see you guys anymore so you get this sort of ghost effect okay really fun as well with background stamps so if i'm gonna take so this is the stitchy borders okay that we launched on the last show they have obviously been cleaned perfectly and put back on their sheet but shall we just for this minute be amazed that they are on the actual sheet okay actually i'm not going to do that i'm going to use the words which are all still on there. I haven't lost any. So these are the small words. Um, which were also launched last time we were on the telly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up green this time. Okay. What we're also going to do this time, just to mix it up, we're going to ink up our small words with the purple we're going to stamp into it with the mirror block I'm just going to flip this one over and then stamp onto there okay and you get your words back to front because it's a mirror block <laughs> it's still a good idea though she says oh i've got hair on it see and that's the thing make sure your mirror blocks are clean so it's just a case of having a play with them so you can use them to cover area you know that it's still got quite a lot of ink on it i could take that spritz it get a nice little sort of moshy circle spritz it again You know, and create backgrounds using them. That is also, and that's obviously something I love. So, what's the time? How long have I rabbited on for this evening? 40 minutes. See, I think that's not bad because I've actually shown you lots of things that I like. You see a mirror image of Sammy. That's quite good. All right. So... <clears throat> You've got those. I'm going to sh quickly show you, or I'm not because I've just put it down. So these are your mirror, for everybody that's just joined in, these are your mirror stamp block stamps, okay? So they are still Be Crafty Polymer stamps. They are mirror blocks. So they are for using with your stamps to create <laughs> mirror effects, reflection effects loads and loads of fun 
things that turn your desk into this sort of mess. Um, well, they probably don't turn your desk into this sort of mess. Probably not. Um, so there's so much you can do with them. So if you do treat yourself to some of the mirror blocks, um, first of all, thank you very much. We very much appreciate it. Um, and also, please show us what you make because I am, like I said, I'm being very honest with you right now. Um, this is a fun idea that uh, Jen uh, brought to us. Um, but it's something I'm still learning and it's something I'm still playing with and it's something that I absolutely love because it's awesome. And anything that can be... The reason I love stamping, <clears throat> the reason I've always loved stamping, is because of what you can do with it. You can stamp it, you can colour it, you can paint it, you can heat emboss it, you know, there's just, there's just a long list of things. And I think, not to mention all the things you can stamp it on, you know, you've got that as well. So I think this just brings another facet, is that a good word? To that. So, with that in mind, I'm going to put that there. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday evening. Um, I really hope you're all having a great week. Um, I will do some YouTubes on this um, that hopefully will be a touch more <laughs> organised. But I make no promises. Um, or, you know, some IGTVs. Um, if you are not following us on Instagram, it's Be Crafty Stamps on Instagram. And we put loads of samples on there. We put the DT samples on there. Things I make, mum makes, you know, ideas that we have as we're going along. Um, Instagram is the good place for that. If you're not a member of the Be Crafty Stamps group, please become a member and show us what you make with all your Be Crafty goodies. Because we really like to see. Um, and yeah, just thank you very much for joining me. And I'm going to go now and sit down. Because <laughs> um, I've got very long days at the minute. Yes, they're carrying on quite a long time. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, I hope you have a great week. Any questions, any queries, any suggestions? You could be like Jen and have a suggestion brought to life. Um, because, you know, it sounds cheesy, but it is a fact. We are here for you and all that jazz. So, um... I'll see you later, guys. Have an absolutely great week.